up to the present time, I still see patients and friends who haven't been given booster shots. Their contention is, if vaccination work, why is it that death still occurs after COVID vaccination? But what we know is that data from data have shown that COVID vaccination really works against COVID infection. It protects patients from developing severe disease and hospitalization, and there's really no question about that. But what we know is that as cases and deaths are still being reported, remember, COVID continues to be around us. COVID is not yet over. It is therefore very critical that we get boosted. Here's why. Let's watch this. One of the major data with regard to the benefits of booster shots uh, was presented from Malta. It is one of the highest vaccinated countries in the world. But around August of last year, as cases of Omicron started to rise, considering it to be pretty mild, it was really a surprise to all as to why death rate started to increase. So the questions were, what happened? Did vaccines not work? Did the protection fade over time? It is therefore not surprising that after the first two doses of the primary series of COVID vaccines, in terms of efficacy, they do fade with time. Malta, as we know, as a country, raised to get everyone vaccinated very early in the ballgame. And when Omicron hit their area, the population was already more than six months out from their initial vaccination. And therefore, it was very possible that protection was already down. One mistake was that there was no firm data yet on boosters. And Malta did recognize the importance of boosters early. And so Malta did not offer them to the population. The other problem was that there was this small group of people who remained fully unvaccinated for whatever reason. And this is actually the group of patients where most of the deaths were coming from. The problem is locally, I still continue to see patients and friends who haven't received the booster shots, plainly because they don't believe boosters are needed. Again, they already have heard some fake news blaming the booster shots to cause medical issues of a person they know. There is indeed a big contrast with booster confidence among my patients, as I know of some friends who also got four shots of the time when booster was not yet even offered by the government. Now, news regarding the problems with boosters remain unfounded. It is best that we see consult with medical doctors on the safety and benefits of booster shots rather than believing in the hearsays and false news. Here's the data why we really need the booster shot, and it is very important now. The data from Malta clearly shows that boosters are needed by all. Their own data clearly show that half the deaths in age more than 60 are from people who did not get the booster dose. More striking and alarming was data coming from the 1% unvaccinated among more than 60, which accounted for approximately 16% or majority of the deaths in that age group. So clearly, therefore, vaccines do work. It protected people from getting severe disease for those who were vaccinated. But the caveat of the Malta experience is that if you've been vaccinated, make sure you get a booster. So from all this data, we can therefore safely conclude that indeed one, booster shots are essential, especially that COVID is still here. Number two, COVID will continue to be prevalent and it continues to infect and cause severe disease among the more susceptible people. And third, 
it may not be an unforeseen future that we will continue to see spikes of cases with new variants unless, and I hope, that the booster effect is really enduring. Or just like flu vaccination, to continue to be protected, we may need booster shots on an annual basis. We know that COVID vaccines are not perfect, but they are darn good and so far have protected us and kept us alive as frontliners. Even with Delta, Alpha, Gamma, Kappa, Lambda, and all the different variants, we continue to learn as COVID is pretty new and our data on vaccines are still evolving. So why were the two doses of the vaccine not enough when we were promised high and enduring efficacy? Well, most likely that the first two doses in retrospect were also given too close to each other. As a result, there was also not enough time for the true secondary immune response to give our body enough boost to protect us against infection. Furthermore, as there are still more unvaccinated getting infected, it is expected that we will see more variants emerging that have made vaccines pretty less effective. But rest assured, our T cells will continue to protect us even with the new variants coming in. So please get your booster shots now. Stay safe. This is Dr. Jerry Tan. See you again soon. Thank you.